I need to say a few words about error in our uh, regression. So you've seen me draw the regression equation this way. The expected value of y is equal to b sub 0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2, yada, yada, yada. Right? Or just even just, you know, two variables predicting uh, a y variable. This is, this hat, right, this caret here, says that this is the expected value of y. But it's not the actual value of y. y is, S, is actually b sub 1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus some error term. Right? So there's a difference between the actual and our estimate. Our estimate is only based on our regression, and our regression gives us an estimate. So for any particular case, we can take someone's value of x1 and value of x2 and predict what their y should be. But there's going to be a difference between their expected value of y and their actual value of y. And that difference is what we call error. Now, technically, uh, when we're talking about the overall population, we're talking about what's called prediction error. Right? And this is how far this error is uh, and how far our predictions for y will be from actual population parameters for y. This is subtly different from what we, the term we used earlier in the semester of residuals. Residuals are specific to uh, a sample. So we can actually measure our residuals, right? That was the difference between what our estimate would be and what we actually observed in our sample. The difference here in the prediction error is it's based on some unobservable things. It's how different our estimate would be for the entire world, the entire population, not just for our sample. So we can't really know that because we can't measure the entire population. A residual refers to basically that prediction error that occurs just inside of our sample, so we can measure that. Now here's another thing. This prediction error can be, can be cut up into two things. Part of it is what we call measurement error, and part of it is what we call true error. So error has two components, measurement error and true error. Measurement error just comes because our measures are not perfect. It turns out we can't read people's minds, despite whatever else you might think about psychologists. We can't read people's minds. We make errors in our measurements, right? And those errors, we hope are random, but they may not be. And that is part of our inability to perfectly estimate the world. Then we also have true error, which is unrelated to the measurement error. This is all the things we didn't model. I know you can't read that. That says that true error is all the things that we didn't model. These are all the other things in the world that are actively causing our y, uh, our outcome variable. And, they, and since we don't capture them in our model, it turns out that our model just is an estimate, right? And the difference between those things is going to be error. And our error is broken up into true error, the stuff that we should have included but, but didn't, or could have included but didn't, and our measurement error, which is just not really true error, it's just errors based on the way that we measured these underlying psychological constructs. So we need to understand where all these things come from.